Hello, it's the Gamanic here today, and I have a short tutorial for you uh, in Sony Vegas. Now, if you've ever wondered how to use the green screens, well, uh, I've got a very good tutorial for you. So let's get cracking. First of all, you need two videos. One where you have you or friend. I've actually got some stock footage from the internet, uh, which was free. Um, of someone in front of a green screen. It can be blue, it can actually be any color, but green is the best. I also have my background image or, fo or photo or video, it doesn't really matter, um, of the London Underground. So basically this uh, be very short, it's just a guy um, putting on his glasses and his rucksack. So you're going to drag the green screen file on top on the drag into the drag line uh, into the timeline i mean um like so now then you need to go on to video effects chroma key and then go, drag uh click and drag on pure green screen onto the video so uh the color should change slightly now you've got a new window opening up like this and you have the low threshold. Well, this um, is all about the darkness, all about the uh, of the image, how how much blacks in it. The high threshold is all about the brightness of the image, and the blur amount is the blur between the uh, the green screen and yourself. And so, first of all, you need to click this and check the box. Uh, show mask only. Now you should get a white and a black image and a little bit of grey as well okay now what you've got to do here is make sure that your character your um here is white which it is and make sure all the other parts are black so you need to increase the low threshold until everything is black like so now you might be able to see a few white bits so you want to increase the uh, i mean decrease the high threshold like so and you should get something like that now you can stick with black and white if you want but I don't think many people do so you can uncheck the mask and you should get something like this now you go back to your project media and you basically drag in your photo image which you want to which replaces the green screen so it should be like so um, and on, I'll just go into properties uncheck maintain aspect ratio and you should get something like that there you go. It's a bit laggy. I know my computer isn't the fastest. Um, but basically, that is it. And you can do that for everything. You can add a bit of blur. I forgot to do that. Um, and it looks a little bit more realistic. Um, but just toggle with that. Just look for the correct settings. It's, there's not one size fits all. So you just got to play with it for a bit. Well, that was my short tutorial. I hope you liked it. And uh, stick around for more Sony Vegas stuff. So, bye.